Let's just drop some rockets from outer space right there. I think they need to stop moving. These rockets are not very accurate. Obviously, you're not really looking for accurate rockets. You want saturation fire. You want an area to be bombarded. I'm trying to get rid of some of these guys into trenches. Maybe it's not the best way of doing it, but we're going to have to clear out some of these guys just rocketing them out, which actually seems to be doing a relatively... I mean, 25 isn't that bad for the first battle. Let's fire another full volley. All right, howdy, folks. Welcome back to Gates of Hell with the Japanese Conquest campaign using the Valor mod. And as in the last episode, we are back in something that doesn't really make any sense. This is the Hungarian Swamps map. And in this weird alternate reality, alternate history, the Japanese and the British are fighting each other in Hungary of all places, I guess. So that's what the story is behind this, uh, about behind this battle, I suppose. With that being said, we have gotten some new units, and I'm actually kind of excited to try them out. Oh, uh, is this plane to survive? He's not. That is unfortunate. You know what we're going to do, though? We're going to try to drop a bomb on this one, then. And we're just going to keep it going. We got some new vehicles, though, which we're going to get in the fourth wave. I'm actually kind of excited to see some of those. Well, actually, I say new vehicles. It's really only, I think, the uh, ho I, which is a 75 millimeter short barrel tank. So I think it'll be quite... That was really really depressingly not useful actually it was kind of very sad so i think that'll be a good howitzer tank and obviously the chiha 120 which i was just using more as a, a joke in the last battle because i just it was overkill i was destroying the enemies either way well we're going to upgrade that and alongside the now the ho eye with the 75 millimeter gun it's going to be sort of like a Sherman 105, uh, you know, a low velocity, more like, maybe like a Panzer IV D or a Panzer IV F1, like a low velocity 75 millimeter gun. So it's going to be good against positions, good against infantry, uh, entrenched guns, but obviously, you know, not very good, uh, you know, against tanks. Although I guess it does have heat, so that could somewhat be useful. But yeah, we're playing on the Hungarian Swamps map. And every time I play, it just makes me sad that this game doesn't have uh, Japanese maps or, you know, like a Pacific style Wow, that was a, like, Pacific-style maps. It would be super cool to have a jungle or something like that to fight in, but instead we're just fighting in Eastern Europe somewhere. But it is what it is, and uh, like my fiancé's nephew or cousin says, uh, you get what you get, and you don't get upset, so that's what this is. I know that a pretty cool-looking uh, Pacific mod just released on the workshop not that long ago, uh, as I'm making... Oh, this was a bad idea. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. I'm ca I can't, I can't, I can't. Enough control. Please retreat. Sadly enough, I have uh, the feeling that it's going to either be very hard <coughs> uh, for, for a developer to grab the maps from that Pacific mod and import them into, say, Conquest. And by very hard, it might even be slightly impossible. They might require a lot of work. So... I don't know if and what and when that'll happen. If it does happen, I would instantly revisit a Japanese campaign on, obviously, those specific maps. Wow, that 120 mil sounds really tough from over here. Let's see if we can just listen in on it from back here. Why did it just... Did it just fire? Or I'm so confused. Oh, this this uh, whole eye just got messed up. It's basically a Chiha, I think. Okay, that's pretty cool, though. Okay, this tank got completely demolished. We are going to have to be a little careful about what and how I'm doing stuff over here. Let's keep pushing this other cap. There goes... Oh, that's a... Okay, do we have heat ready? Oh, nice hit! That took, like, three of the crew out inside the vehicle. And we got rid of their defensive uh, stuff on there. Now, well, the thing is, this tank is a little, well, very broken right now. We use my medic to repair this for now. Uh, we'll get the Taishin Airborne to move up. The Ho Ai and the Chi Ha are going. Oh, actually, they did just destroy that thing. That's good. That's good. I'm thinking this 20 mil might just push up to here. I'm waiting for my last Colin. Obviously, I kind of just wasted this bomb and did nothing. And then this plane for this one just got shot down. Oh, it looks like they just remanned it. Looks like they just remanned it. Time for the Ho Ai to show that it's worth buying or I'm never using it. Okay. Likely never using it again. Oh, actually, the 20 millimeter coming in very clutch right there. Oh, this only has like two crew on it right now. That's a bit unfortunate. I mean, that was a single hit from that 40 mil and it took it down to two crew instantly. Then again, it is a Japanese tank with 25 millimeters. Yeah, it's basically, well, it's like a weird mix. 
So it's got 25 mils of armor on the hull, but then fit in a turret, whereas the Chihaz only had 25 and 25. So I guess it's slightly better than a Chiha, at least for the turret armor, but we're still talking about Japanese tanks, you know? There is just not much to write home about when we're talking about Japanese tanks. Let's move the Chihei more towards this cap. Try to get eyes on while well, using our 20 mil. Something just flew over me, I think. That was a little scary. Okay. Oh, can I? No shot. This cannot arc like that, can it? It can? I'm trying to miss the trees. That was kind of a dangerous shot because if I missed, well, if I hit the tree, it probably would have instantly killed my entire like squad sitting right there. So it's kind of a risky shot to take. Okay, Valentine, heat, heat, heat. Massive, massive. We just took out three of the crew in there. The I keep calling this a half track, but I, I, I swear I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm not forgetting that it's not a half track. It's just, I am forgetting that it's not a half track, I guess. Let's get these guys to dismount. We don't really need three guys in this vehicle. Pushing us in the left up. This vehicle is almost repaired. This Chiha needs to, the 120 that is, needs to push up. It's very interesting playing Japan because you can't rely on super powerful tanks like the Germans or even the Soviets, you know, with like T-34s, uh, stuff like that. We have to really rely, ooh, did I just kill, oh, I killed a pilot. That might've been the guy that jumped out of that one aircraft that got shot down. Okay. Push this forward. We have spotted something back there. It's a machine gun. It's a machine gun. And then the guy holds it. It's like, oh, ha ha. That's a, it's not an old clip. Well, it's not an old clip. It's an older clip, I guess. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Start pushing up to this one. We got this Valentine still up. So I don't know why it's not loading heat for that. Or Chiha, why don't we engage? That with some HE. Oh, that was brutal. Nice hit on the vehicle. Keep pushing up here. Valentine just took another heat round. Maybe we'll aim for like the turret? We only got a couple shells left. Perfect. That one's down. Okay, our medic, has he repaired this thing? He has. We can bring up the rest of this vehicle. I'm thinking we're going to dismount the half-track and just grab these two men and throw them inside of this chi hay instead. The half- the- the- I keep calling it a half-track. You know what I'm saying. The vehicle will come back, I think, in the next battle, but I'd rather make sure that chi hay is, like, actively being able to be used in this battle. And we'll probably throw one of my riflemen on this- oh, to repair it first, I guess. We'll throw some riflemen on there to repair it. We have some sort of gun back here that seems pretty hurdy. Oh, it's multiple 20 millimeters. That's what shot down my aircraft that I sent over to that cap point. And then once we'll heal the guy on the right, we'll push the right cap. I'm actually surprised at how slow the enemies gain points in conquest. I feel like when I'm defending, it goes it goes pretty fast. You know, it doesn't like right now, why are they not getting more points fast ish or faster? You know what I'm saying? It feels like... I'm not saying that Conquest should be impossible. It shouldn't be like, oh, well, you have three minutes to rush or you you lose. But maybe a little bit more uh, difficulty wouldn't be a bad thing, in my opinion. Okay, well, we got this guy up. Now let's start rezzing some of the guys that went down. We did lose all three of those guys because they ran into the multiple Bofors. There is a mortar shooting at me currently, which is a little unfortunate. And we are also getting hit by the 20 mils. There's another weapon or some sort over there okay third wave we have at least some of these guns oh, i forgot we have this rocket uh, right 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 right. i forgot i got this thing we have the uh, the ammo trucks to go with the rocket artillery and the two oh he missed but he hit okay that's good yeah, but 200 millimeter rocket launcher and this 120 millimeter gun. The thing is, again, the crew has to be like transported separately if there's more than two on there, it seems. But we'll figure it out. Get them moving over here. And then we can start pounding that next cap. That was a good kill. That was actually a really useful kill, too. This gun is not operational just yet. Start digging in on this side with whoever is alive. Uh, can we... Oop. Just try to... Oh, these guys can't dig in for any reason? That's a little annoying. They have... They don't... They just don't have a shovel. But, okay. Well, we'll work on it. Medic got him up. 
Uh, Medic is going to work on this guy next and then crawl away. And then we'll just dig some more foxholes. Make sure it's as clear as possible. Okay, that's probably, probably pretty good. So we'll cap this next point with the Chihei and the Chiha 120 staying there. We'll keep this uh, squad of SNLF, which I think are the Shanghai ones. We'll keep this kind of in front of our artillery over here so they don't get run over by some random dudes who just happen to walk this way. And then we'll walk the 120 around the vehicle, get the manned, get to 120 up, fire at will, fire at will. It's going to do some damage, I hope. I'm not sure if the rockets are going to hit the trees. There's really only one. Oh, this guy died. There's really only one way to find out, and it's not going to be a, a way I want to find out, really. That's the issue. So we have our AA truck. Okay, do we have any ammo crates? Oh, we did get an ammo crate. Maybe that's a good point to bring it over here for the 20 mil. And then the Shanghai guys are going to push up. Okay, rocket. Let's fire one. I haven't actually used much rocket artillery in the sound update. That was very underwhelming for a 200 millimeter rocket explosion. To be completely honest with you. I'm really hoping that this guy can at least... Okay, well... Oof. Okay, the ho E or ho I, Sort of being useful. Maybe not the most useful thing at the moment. But it seems to be doing its job. It actually has knocked out three tanks, including that one Crusader that we saw. Or the Valentine, I mean, sorry. It was this one. So, okay, that was a better one. Rocket still seems kind of quiet, or maybe I'm just not listening to it very effectively. It's probably the second one. And then let's push up this Chiha 120. Okay, that was effective. Rocket. Was that the rocket? I don't know if that was the rocket or not. Does it seem to be reloading really quickly? Oh, okay. I remember this thing being a lot better in Assault Squad, but I guess they, like, maybe he turned the damage down on it. Definitely the accuracy. Hmm, it, it, fi it fires differently now. I swear it used to have more of a, of a, like a, like a boom, if that makes any sense. Let's load an HE shell in this group of guys right here. That was crappy. Okay, well, let's engage the enemy 25-pounder. Because that's going to be an issue if I don't knock him out. Heal this guy up. Alright, alright. It's not the best thing ever, but let's rocket this. No, 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 no. Just rocket them. Rocket them. Right there. All you have to do. I don't think he's going to fire. Unless I, like... It seems almost like it's a mortar. The way the crew is standing. That's a very quiet... Maybe that's not been overhauled by the developer of Valor. Maybe he forgot to add sounds to it. Because that one sounds like specific... Oh, that was a big round. It specifically sounds very quiet compared to, you know, what you would think a rocket sounds like after it's been fired. Let's aim for this. 20 mil, hopefully we get... Well, get close, but no cigar. Okay, folks, some of these infantry that are here... As long as this uh, 120 mil keeps firing, it's... Well, both the 120 mils are actually really powerful at the moment for me. And this Chi Hei will move up. And then... Is there anything worth stealing from this half-track? No, nah, not really. I don't really feel like about carrying a 50 cal around like a crazy person. Okay, we have... Eh, we're just repairing this for money. A little scary battle. Like I said, I, my goal is to play this campaign until I can no longer win battles. Like, I'm getting to the point where the enemies are sending tanks and stuff and that I cannot disable. Uh, besides just winning the, the actual campaign. Because I'm one to two battles away. I think I'm two battles away. This one, then I'm defending, and then I'm doing an attack. So this one might actually be a triple battle episode. As we'll be finishing up uh, the campaign. And then we'll most likely just go to a over i don't know like an ending never ending overtime i don't know what you want to describe it as uh campaign where we'll see a lot of the japanese later stuff i think there would be some cool later british stuff to take out or look take a look at as well and obviously take out for us you know playing the japanese that was a crappy shot oh this is just a chihei i was wondering why the arc on that was so bad what is shooting at me oh it's just a machine gun yeah, this one sounds great. The 120 sound great. It seems to be the 200 millimeter, which just sounds very sad. You know? Like it's not even making a sound. Well, it hasn't shot. Oh. The explanation there would be that if it didn't... Was that a shot from me? 
actually, I'm not sure. I just want to listen in on this one. I think it might just be a little broken at the moment, sound-wise, in the update. Oh, no, there's sound. It's just very quiet. It almost sounds like a bazooka or a panzer shrek or a round like that. I'm being absolutely destroyed by this little group of dudes. Let's get the medic up here. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, we're clearing this out. Okay, there we go. We just I figured there were some guys here, but Okay, we're done. Rocket. Any real reason to target anything back here? So this one, I don't know, did it get like 10 kills or something? It got 12 kills. It's just free because it's an artillery piece. So I'm not too worried about it doing, you know, getting great damage in or not. I'm just sitting in the back and it's just supposed to be firing. But if I could choose between another one of these 120s or this thing, I'm probably going to get rid of the rocket and swap it for maybe a long barrel version of this 120 or a long barrel version of the 105 I was using because this just seems rather inconsequential kind of like not worth it we're gonna heal up these guys not really much to capture i'm gonna just grab this vehicle and we're gonna sell it back the a13 cruiser mark one it's not gonna be a bunch of money probably like 200 ish but hey it's a little bit of money that we're getting back for free and uh, we'll be right back all right we are just barely getting done setting up the defenses and it's actually a pretty cool map pinsk is a very big marsh map well, i think one of the original maps but it's cool is it does you could argue this could be like Kalkin Goal, although we'd be playing against the Soviets, I guess, and not the British. But this could be like a Chinese or a, a you know a Soviet battle map where the Japanese would fight either of them. Maybe like very far fetched somewhere in like India or Burma. But anyway, doesn't really matter. We are fighting against the British in what is most likely going to be the final defense of this campaign, at least the un altered campaign uh, because this is going to be the final defense if we win then we have to do an offense and then the campaign is technically over but as i said i'm going to be heavily trying to uh, finish this campaign and by finish i mean just like play through and through until something happens and we get to do some uh, some fun stuff hopefully with some late war japanese equipment against hopefully some late war british equipment i got this new type 105 or it's a 105 millimeter gun and the point of this one, it's very similar to the other 105 in every regard, besides the fact that this has a longer barrel, which obviously means it's a little bit more effective uh, at range, I guess. Yeah, well, we can shoot it to 350, 360 even, which is not bad, but it does seem that it, well, wants to keep, keep switching to AP, which is a little frustrating, because obviously at this range, we're not doing anything with APHE. But that is very possible. That was actually very awesome like that was very incredibly awesome even now we have this 120 millimeter mortar or 150 sorry mortar that we're gonna maybe actually put down over here uh can we go through the compounds or how are we gonna get there uh, we may have to make a hole in the compound with something i'm not sure maybe we'll just you know what let's just drive this chiha through the wall and then it can sort of go here yeah okay and then we'll do that one more time and then another time and then the mortar can sit right behind this house which i think is actually not a bad place for it whatsoever and then this chiha can just kind of chill here we're taking some fire back we do have a lot of these defensive oh this gun got instantly taken out that's a little unfortunate actually for this right flank but we do have the ho eye which is the uh, low velocity 75, which was relatively effective, I think, in the last battle. It actually didn't do too bad, uh, mostly with its heat shells. And then right now we're just trying to work over some of these uh, incoming tanks of this Crusader. I'm not sure if we can lob an HE shell. That is unfortunate. Obviously, he could perfectly find. He could perfectly see me. Oh, that was very unfortunate. Oh, that was very unfortunate. Okay, I was really hoping I would... Okay, it's fine. That's my own my own fault. Let's dismount this thing before it gets completely destroyed. Get some sandbags going. And then we have this short barrel 120, which has obviously been very effective. 112 kills in, like, what, two battles, I think? Killed a bunch of tanks. This thing maybe needs to... I wish I if I take the AP shells out, then it's just going to get ammo from the truck. So maybe I have to drop the AP shells, fire this one off into whatever, 
switch to HE and keep the truck out of its range so at least it'll just use HE shells. And when it's really low on ammo, I could consider swapping back to the, or getting the ammo truck back over here. But yeah, it just doesn't really seem like, I'd rather have more of these 120s, to be completely honest with you. Then something we don't have unlocked right now, I didn't grab any actually, is, oh, I should probably just get this recon plan, get an eyes on, or, uh, oops, wrong button. I uh, unlocked, I think it's 150 millimeter off map artillery, which is like one of these special call-ins. I didn't actually buy one yet because I didn't really think I need, needed it like for this uh, defense, but it might be nice for the offense. So next battle, the enemy cannot actually shoot down artillery. Obviously, you know, they can't just Aim, aim at the sky and take out the artillery coming in off the off the map. So it's gonna have a cheeky way of sort of guaranteeing I'll at least get a one point completely cleared out. The Japanese here with their artillery, the 150s, the 120s, this mortar, are actually quite brutal. Can I knock this guy out with the Ho Ai before he does too much damage to? Okay, Ho Ai a little underwhelming still. I feel like it's very. Oh, he just knocked out one of my AI 20 mils. That's unfortunate. Yeah, the Ho-Ai seems very hit or miss. So this is a Ho-Ai, which is, I think, based on the Chiha. Then I can get a Ho-Ai, I think it's called the Type 2 Ho-Ai, which is based on the Chihei. So it just has a little bit more armor. I mean, we're talking, look, the difference is, like I said, it's 50 on the turret and 25 on the hull. I'm pretty sure this is 50-50. So I would get a 50-50 Ho-Ai, but it doesn't really do anything else for me. It just gives you a little bit more armor. And then I believe the last one might be a Chi Nu variant, but you get the 57 millimeter long barrel gun. So I'm not 100% sure uh, for what that thing exists because obviously it doesn't exist to like I don't think there's I don't think it's a short barrel low velocity 70 or 57 mil. Which by the way, a 57 millimeter low velocity gun just seems like it would not do much. I feel like the the lowest caliber of low velocity gun you want to go is probably like 75, 76. That's what most of these things seem to be. You know, the second you go for a low velocity 57 mil, I feel like you can almost not deliver any payload. Then maybe that's just my stupid way of thinking, but just seems like that would be very ineffective. This Matilda is just going to sit here and do the tanking job until one shell lands pretty much on top of it, whether that's my 120 or it's my 105. That actually was a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot more annoying than that. We have a tank on the right. We'll try to knock that out in just a second. This 120 mil seems to be all right. It could be better. A Valentine. That's going to... Okay, let's load heat. Oh, we have heat load. Never mind. And see if we can get a shot. It's going to be an interesting shot here. Just short. These British tanks, I feel like choosing the British as the enemy was actually an interesting choice. Not only because obviously they're not in a vanilla game, so it's cool to see some British stuff that we haven't obviously seen yet. But also because their early tanks are almost perfect counters to the Japanese tanks in the form of having crappy guns. But, well, the Japanese don't have great armor, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, and pretty thick armor. Like, this Valentine must have... Uh, yeah, 65. I mean, that's not a bad amount of armor, considering it's more armor than any of my tanks have right now. Um, the gun is obviously a little subpar, and the issue is that I have heat. Uh, wasn't it not for heat or artillery? Oh, that was kind of dangerous. It just could have completely destroyed some of my own friendlies there. But are they just all running onto the road? What's happening over here? Wow, they're just getting absolutely destroyed by my AI 20 mils. This is only level 2 defense. I haven't even unlocked level 3 defense yet, but... I guess I'm a little bit further away, um, renown or money-wise. I haven't really put the research points into getting... Uh, when I say renown, I don't even know what game is that from. Like U-Boat? Si Silent Hunter, maybe? <laughs> but oh, it is 150 mil. It's still going crazy. It actually is horribly inaccurate in Valor in Gates of Hell. But I feel like I'm used to just Gates of Hell artillery being pretty effective. And obviously, it's a very nice change that... Rip. Artillery is actually great, uh, like large caliber HE is great even against tanks because well, you've seen before the 105, the 120 mil, if they hit a tank like this, they're going to knock the turret off or they're just going to straight up kill it. Something that is kind of rare considering it that wasn't a thing obviously in, uh, oh this thing needs to die, no, 
yeah, I was really worried about that happening. Luckily, none of these guys were killed. But yeah, you can use that overpressure idea to knock out enemy tanks that you wouldn't be able to knock out with a similar gun in in uh, Men of War Assault Squad 2. It's kind of nice to do it like that. Kind of overkill maybe using heat on that, but at least it's gone. What is that, a medium tank? That was a one-shot on a Matilda from the 120 mil. This thing is... I gotta say, where is this guy? This thing is absolutely broken. I thought this was going to be some sort of joke gun because of, well, it, it looks like a gun from like 1812, you know, being used against Napoleon, but apparently this is one of the most insane weapons in the Japanese arsenal when it comes to uh, cost effectiveness. Hell, I should just get like three or four of these and ignore any other artillery. But for the time being, I'll probably stick with uh, having just one of them. I want to try to keep going throughout the Japanese ranks. I have a lot of stuff still to unlock. The infantry I'm pretty okay with. I have some of the SMLF Special Forces I haven't really used much. So I'll be going through those at some point, I think. And I'll probably replace my Shanghai SNLF with them. Because they only come with a single uh, machine gun. And the rest of these Shanghai guys are all armed with rifles so i think eventually i will replace them but for now i'm okay with them just kind of chilling not really you know being too good or too bad i'm just using them as sort of like a they're mostly my first line of defense or attack and then whenever i found out where the enemy is really chilling out then i'll usually switch to the actual snlf and push that cat push that point you know make sure that the machine guns and stuff are found out before i send in my real worthy units worthy worthy uh, what is this two-pounder doing? Anyway, we're aiming at 105. That is terrible. That is terrible. I understand. I understand it shouldn't be one-shot accurate. But that was a terrible and accurate shot. Let's try again. This is the new one I bought. But so far... That was good. I mean, that was the second shot. That's fair. So far, I'm just thinking I'd rather have two of those 120 mils than, like, one of these long barrel 105s. Because this doesn't really seem to do too much for me. I guess the good thing is that if you are in trouble, you could very quickly drive up uh, this, or some, this thing could actively use APHE. But if you're using a 120 millimeter HE shell or 105 millimeter HE shell, you can just load HE like we've done with this one. And it just one shots units. It might not be using a specialized anti-tank shell for it, but it seems to be perfectly fine and effective enough at that was close, actually. That would have just destroyed that thing. I drove the ammo truck up to that uh, 105 because I'm hoping it can at least maybe destroy some of these. Like, that is insane. It knocked out the wrong tank, but it still knocked out a tank. The whole eye got destroyed. It's not that useful anymore, I think. I, if anything, I don't even know if the whole eye 2 would be that useful. That was a... Wow, with the 120, the 120 is killing everything, and this 105 is really not that effective. And then it keeps loading AP, which is really frustrating. So I think we're going to back out. We're going to call uh, that a victory. And then I think we might as well do this final battle in the uh, official campaign. All right, we're back with the third and what most likely will be the final battle of the campaign before we switch to the never-ending one. And we have this weird vehicle I have never seen or heard of before. Does she say 15 centimeter Tarenso, which has a 20 well, I guess a 20 volley or 20 rocket tubes on the back, which are about like nibble warfare size. I'm not sure how effective this thing is going to be. So why don't we just throw it at one of these points? Oh, the range on this is a that's actually not that bad. But make sure, uh, let's make sure that the SNLF sort of clears the way before we throw this thing forward. And we also got this new artillery column, which we're going to call in over here because I really just want to see what it does. It should be 150 millimeter guns. So could probably be pretty effective so let's listen in for a second it's a long second we just got some shots coming at us by the way oh here's the artillery there's a guy back there we'll deal with them in a second okay I'm a fan of this it seems to be a relatively big impact. I mean, they are 150 millimeter guns. Pretty spread out. Yeah, I mean, that'll clear to point out a good bit. That's always that's always good. Let's get our new sort of Japanese uh, Nebelwerfer forward. 
And maybe for the next one, let's get two of these Chihei. So actually, I got rid of the Shanghai infantry. And I just replaced them with the SNLF Spec Ops. So once we get to the third wave, that should be a good way of getting some extra... Oh, I need to be very careful. Okay, we need to actually deal with that rocket or that uh, artillery piece, which we just did. I want to keep this rocket in reserve until I'm like completely ready to engage something. Because right now, I don't really know what I would really want to engage with it. So we're just going to use the 120 and the ho I as our sort of main force to deal with any me emplacements and stuff like that. Although I am kind of ready to engage with the, the rockets, the mortars, the artillery truck. I should say they're not mortars. Just the artillery truck. I'm ready to engage with it whenever... Is that something happening over there? Wow, we just, just completely an annihilated that place though, which is good. But I want to not just throw it in here. Although I kind of want to at the same time because I don't want it just to explode and then we'll never know. So maybe it's time for me to just rocket this and get an idea of what it sounds like, what it looks like. Okay, well, that's killed. These rockets look surprisingly first... Oh, never mind. The the stuff behind it, that just looks very kind of weird. It looks like a 2D little icon there. Okay, that's five... Oh, it's okay, so it's five shells. That's actually not a terrible amount because that way it'll allow you to sort of just like spray an area but not necessarily waste a whole bunch of rockets so i actually like this thing so you get 20 rockets but you get to fire them in four volleys of five so i'm thinking we just launch some more rockets sort of this way and push up into this cap and uh yeah actually maybe not the worst thing that the japanese have made if this is something that they actually ever made because i've never seen or heard of this thing before but you know it is possible to some sort of prototype or you know like it was a one-of-a-kind kind of thing but i was kind of hoping we would get a shot on some sort of defensive emplacement there but so far it doesn't seem to be that useful guess we'll just keep this thing resupplied it reload okay it's gonna probably reload pretty slowly as that makes sense to me though oh a humber that could really mess my day up just purely because i don't have any armor on these things what oh this is an he it's he oh god okay i don't know why i was so scared there for a second i was like this should not have an issue anymore you know day 12 or whatever of the campaign but i almost feel like i had an issue there for a second we'll move the infantry we'll move one of these squads more to the right once we have secured one of these caps we'll probably end up using a lot of these guys in a defensive role maybe even some of my commandos what is that gun that just fired at me that's a row force i need to deal with that thing no 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 why are you loading why are you loading a heat load a chi oh there's a crusader oh that's bad there goes the hill eye let's load a chi and then blob a shell right in there i should probably should have saved some of that oh snipers in there too Okay, that should have done a little more than what it did, I feel like. Okay, this thing is probably not going to last very long. I need to be worrying about... Oh, 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 oh. What's shooting at me here? It's Urlikan. Let's get the 20 mil on the move. This thing is fine. Don't know the Chihei's should maybe rotate more towards this. Ro rotate? I don't know why it's a weird, weird accent on that. Especially now there's a... Oh, a Humber is actually very dangerous to this little thing. I mean, this is a 15 millimeter little APC. I need to knock out that bow for us with my 20 mil before the Humber. No, no, let me shoot the, let me shoot the 20, the 40, the, let me shoot the 40. Ah, oh, crap, it just disappeared. I'm just gonna spray kind of like towards it. Oh, that was perfect, actually. We just knocked out all the crew off that thing. Okay, I'm losing a lot of my men here. This is uh, starting to kind of feel like more what I thought Japan and Conquest is going to be like. A little painful, you know. We got some rockets ready, though. So maybe this could be good. Nope. Let's just drop some rockets from outer space right there. Okay, we need to stop moving. These rockets are not very accurate. Obviously, you're not really looking for accurate rockets. You want saturation fire you want an area to be bombarded i'm trying to get rid of these, some of these guys in the trenches maybe it's not the best way of doing it but we're gonna have to clear out some of these guys just rocketing them out which actually seems to be doing a relatively i mean 25 isn't that bad for the first battle let's fire another full volley and let's get this uh, full track i you know stop calling it after all the time let's get this full track over here and maybe we'll start by getting into the trenches this Chiha's find a ho eye is somewhat fine. 
We managed to rescue everyone that was rescuable from this uh, first section. Shihei, move up. It's time, I think, to get the second wave, or the well, final wave, and start pushing up with them to, like, the far... Oh, this is going to be frustrating. These guys are going to have to, like, follow me off the... They're going to have to... The, the guys in these guns, I can only tow two of them at the time. And then, you know, the other two guys is going to become useless. So this is a little frustrating. So we'll have to move the truck and the gun and then just run the other guys behind it. But it should be all right. Achihei can push up quite aggressively. This full track can move up quite aggressively. And then... Oh, we're able to carry all of those guys on the gun. But not the... Okay, so some guns it works, and then some guns the crew dismounts. I guess... Weird. Uh, what is this? Is that... Oh, because that, that's a 90mm AT gun, and this is a 105mm... Or 120mm, like, Napoleon era, era looking gun. Is this guy down? No, he's fine. Oh, he's, well, he's down. He's not reservoir. He's not fine, but... Okay, so they're going to focus on this next cap, which was obviously completely demolished uh, by my dudes. Oh, we're going to need to defend this a little better here, guys. I know there's a, uh, you know, do we have any machine gun, machine gun, machine gun. Some direct control could really help me uh, sort of overcome the odds. Just trying to spread out a little. We need to get this point capped. Wait, what is that? Did something? Oh, I thought I just fired a rocket or something. I was like, wait a second. I didn't, I don't think I did that. Move the... Rocket and the ammo up. Uh, where did the rocket go? Right here. Okay, that's perfect. This thing is fine. It's time for us to dismount the full track. And the Chiha and the Ho I are still good. And start like grabbing some of these positions even rather far forward, maybe. Make sure that they're actually like clear of enemies. Uh, our machine gunner is still alive. That's good. Oh, there is a 18 pounder right here. That might be an issue until we throw a TNT on it. Although it is at a weird angle, so I don't know if it's going to cause too much damage or annoyance for me right now. Let's get a nice little TNT on there. Hopefully it stays on it and it doesn't like slide. Oh no, it actually got stuck on it. I think that's perfect for us. I wonder if this is in range yet. No, it's not. I'll we'll just put the guys on the gun and we're going to start pushing them from here on out. Because I don't want to run into an issue where I need these guns to be operational and they're stuck being towed and then there aren't enough guys to, you know, I, I can't, obviously can't respond to a situation where I need to use the main gun if the main gun is actively not, you know, in a position to be used because they're obviously being, being towed by some truck that stopped the towing, turned the, the gun around, it's going to take too long. So anything that has to happen has to happen where you're just going to be pushing them forward and then hopefully... Oh, there's a Crusader right there. Okay, we'll turn around. Set up the, the fence sort of here. And then I don't really see the point in calling in another or a bombing run. I don't think I've called a bombing run in yet this uh, this battle, but I did obviously call in the artillery, which is kind of useful, actually. I'm gonna lie, I don't like, I don't mind this thing. It's nice that it has the ability to rotate in a spot because the machine gun, on, for example, the German half tracks, the 251s and the 250s, can get really annoying to use once you constantly have to move the half track, not just on the spot, because obviously it can't, uh, you know, there's wheels, so it can't, has a hard time moving on the spot. But this is actually a pretty effective way, I think, of, of making this work. I mean, it's probably slower on the road, especially in like a real life situation. But here, this is actually working out perfectly fine. And I actually don't mind it like that because it means that we have a little bit more. So we spread these guys out. Oh, machine gunner, definitely want to put him like over here in this area. We have a, de we have a little bit more like arc with this thing where it can just move, which I really think is better. Oh, is this thing down? Is this the 120? No, it's the whole eye. Why is the whole eye not doing a better job so far? Okay, I think we're just going to push these SNLF SL uh, elites or special forces. I meant to say SNLF SF. That's just a little confusing. Friend carrier right there. Okay. Oh, I and the Chi. Oh. And a Chiha 120. Is this like a perfect example of something that is just. It's a fun idea, but you just don't have a lot of armor. But if you can work around that, then it's pretty effective, I think. Let's move this AT gun up because we got a 75mm Type 90 AT gun. Which I think is going to be pretty effective. 
We will have to use kind of caution. Oh, they're charging this point right here. Um, the issue is that our hull or coaxial machine guns take so long to reload, and they only have 20 bullets that, you know, I just whiffed all the shells on that dude, and or all the rounds on that dude. Okay, I need to really be careful. Okay, that's a, definitely an issue. I need to be careful with this Matilda. So maybe I shouldn't actually be pushing that Chihei into its vision. Maybe I pulled the Chihei. Uh, maybe I pulled the Chihei back, so it does get hit. Uh, it hopefully takes on the. Uh, they're both as armored as the turret. It doesn't really matter, I guess. But okay, let's push this forward. Work on whatever sort of vehicle. It's a Crusader. Okay, we can work on that from a distance. Right side's covered. Chihei is gonna just sit here on the right, so I don't lose this flank. If an you know enemy armor or something shows up, and then this thing is all right. Could have gotten a medic to come all the way over here, but I might do that right now because I don't really care too much about this flank. I feel like I'm okay. If support, reload HE, maybe heat if it just doesn't doesn't do anything. That's actually not that bad. Oh, there's a Sherman. Our first enemy Sherman has been spotted, which is obviously very scary because that's a real opponent for the Japanese. I feel like that's going to have a better gun than all of my vehicles. Uh, it's gonna have a better armor than all of my vehicles, but you know that's luckily where the heat round came in for uh, for me there. I think we're just gonna crawl across the field, and we're using the 90 mil and the 105 here, or 75 mil, sorry, and the 105, 120. My God, what am I saying? But we'd be using those really to sort of protect what's going on up here, and then you go there, and our medic. Maybe we can try to rescue some of these people. I can't I don't really want to push my guys too far up into the zone because they're gonna get shot from outside of where I can really protect them Where is oh, Okay spotted Focus on the crusader Night okay, was that not a kill instantly? Because that was obviously a big shell that just hit it Okay, that must attract it you'd hope. Oh, right. I forgot these guys also have bazookas or all you know RPGs It's actually perfect for me don't have any tanks here i could send a chihei all the way over here but it's going to take a very long time for it to get there okay that thing is almost it should be dead this is a 75 millimeter high velocity based off the long barrel you would think it would make okay there we go that's done that is 120 it's going to move to the edge as well and then we can actually use it a little more aggressively hopefully towards this right because right now i can't really shoot to the right because it has this building and stuff in the way and then i think we are pretty much done this chihei is going to be moving across the map i could try to pick up some of these guys but i mean very limited amount of them that i really want to pick up is there a mortar i think there's a mortar over here somewhere At the moment i think we're okay we're just going to sit here canadian riflemen then there's, there's canadians fighting us right now Oh, there is a Crusader back there. Let's get across the... Okay, I need to actually use that rocket system here, maybe. Who knows? Uh, heal this guy. Start just pushing into the cap. And they're going to sit in front of the cap to sort of cover the cap. More from the right side. The Chihei is going to be running over here, covering the gun. We're healing this one guy, so he's not actually lost. Our medic may have just died. That's okay. Rockets, rockets, rockets. A little volley right here might not hurt, because there are quite a few guys. And then we'll volley over here. That did some decent damage. This thing was definitely not a bad buy. It's not as effective as, like, obviously a big Nebelwerfer, a big rocket launcher, but... It's doing its job. It's doing its job just what it should be doing. So I'm actually kind of enjoying this. Uh... Okay, that's good. There's a lot more guys here than I thought. It's okay, though, because that's the nice thing about this. You get to only fire five rockets, and then you get to fire it four more, well, three more times. So it's good for, like, a suppression of a large area. Suppression of, like, a larger defense system. I mean, for this, obviously, it worked kind of hard because they had all these trenches to hide in. It would have probably worked better over here, but the artillery might have actually been, in hindsight would have been a better idea to pu uh, push that artillery that I called in uh, on one of these other points, but I just wanted to use it before the uh, campaign was over. 
Maybe I pull this thing back, but she has almost out of ammo anyway. She has slightly damaged. This thing has a lot more damage on it than I thought. Oh, we just took a shot from something? Not sure what. Oh, mortar. I, think I hear the mortar like over here. Oh, that was a good hit. It oh no 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 gun gun come back. I just wiggled myself out of dying there. And we managed to kill that thing before that's not dead. Let's just get out of here before we lose some units. But that's going to be the end of the official campaign. I do plan on coming back. We'll be going through the campaign some more, probably with three or four battles per episode. And just trying to see how long it takes before we get absolutely outclassed. Uh, by the British. So we're going to continue this in... Uh, I think it'll be fun just to continue it as, as an unlimited or never-ending conflict or never-ending conquest. And then uh, we'll be back with another episode soon where we're going to start really working towards... I'm going to try to get the Chinookai. I'm going to get this weird Chi Ha Long gun with, I think it's a 120mm naval gun. The Chi Ri. We have the Chi Nu we still have to get. And it's this one that is just weird. This is a ho I with a 57 millimeter gun. This actually looks to be on a Chihei chassis, but a 57 millimeter long barrel. So weird, not sure how this ends up in a line of like low velocity guns, but with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one.